Amen. 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 Virgin. 
from among the Gentiles, bless this betrothal, and unite and preserve these thy servants in peace and oneness of mind. For unto thee is due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Thou 
the good things of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. And mayest thou see thy children's children. Peace be upon Israel. however weak or however strong, and begin your life together with the blessing of God. So as we hear later the words of St. Paul, his instruction to husbands and wives, and then likewise hear about the miracle, the first miracle of Cana and Galilee when the sea would turn the water into wine, ponder upon those instructions and likewise those mysteries because it is both with instruction and with those mysteries that you will live your life together so may god strengthen you in love in mutual obedience and in faith amen Thou hast not promised thyself to any other bride. Hast thou, Anna, a good, free, and unconstrained will, and a firm intention to take unto thyself the husband of this man, Theodore, whom thou seest here before thee? Thou hast not promised thyself to any other man. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above, and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. God, in the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy temple, and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Peter, for the venerable priesthood, <coughs> the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this land, its authorities, and our forces, and for every Christian land, for the God preserved Russian land, and Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. On mind, brotherly love and piety, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the servants of God, Theodore and Anna, who are now being joined to each other in the union of marriage and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord
virtuous of spring and an upright life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he will grant unto them and unto us all our petitions which are unto salvation, let us pray to the Lord. This marriage and bestow upon these thy servants, be in or not a peaceful life, length of days, chastity, mutual love, and the bond of peace, long lived seed, gratitude from their posterity, a crown of glory which fadeth not away. God save them to behold their children's children, preserve their bond and assailed, and give them of the dew of heaven from on high of the fat of the sun earth, and fill their houses with wheat and wine and oil with every beneficence, that they may bestow upon also upon the needy. Granting also unto them, who are here present with them, all those petitions which are for their salvation. For thou art a God of mercy, compassion, and love for mankind. And unto thee do we send up glory with, together with thine originate Father, and thy most holy, good, and great spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. of mystical and pure marriage and the ordainer of the law of the marriage of the body the preserver of immortality and the provider of good things do thou thyself O master who in the beginning didst make man and set him to be as it were a king over thy creation and it say it is not good for man to be alone on the earth let us make a help of meat for him and taking one of his ribs this fashioned woman which when adam beheld he said this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife. And the two shall be one flesh. And those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Do thou now also, O Master, o our Lord and our God, send down thy heavenly grace upon these thy servants, Theodore and Anna, and grant that this thy handmaid may be all, in all things subject unto her husband, and that this thy servant may be the head of his wife that they may live according to thy will. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou dost bless Abraham and Sarah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou dost bless Isaac and Rebekah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou dost bless Jacob and all the patriarchs. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou dost bless Joseph and Asenath. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou dost bless Moses and Zephora. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou dost bless Joachim and Anna. 
Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou hast blessed Zacharias and Elizabeth. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as thou hast preserved Noah in the ark. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as thou hast preserved Jonah in the belly of the whale. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as thou hast preserved the three holy children in the fire, sending down upon them dew from heaven. And let thy gladness come upon them, which the blessed Helena had when she found the precious cross. Remember them, O Lord our God, as thou dost remember Enoch, Shem, and Elias. Remember them, O Lord our God, as thou dost remember thy holy forty martyrs, sending down upon them crowns from heaven. Remember them, O Lord our God, and the parents who have nurtured them, for the prayers of parents make firm the foundations of homes. Remember, O Lord our God, thy servants, the groomsmen, and the bridesmaids of the bridal couple, who are come together in this joy. Remember, O Lord our God, thy servant Theodore, and thy handmaiden Anna, and bless them. Grant them of the fruit of their bodies, fair children, concord of soul and body. Exalt them like the cedars of Lebanon, like a luxuriant vine. Give them seed in number like unto the full ears of grain, that having sufficiency in all things, they may abound in every work that is good and acceptable unto thee. And let them behold their children's children, like a lily, lily planted olive orchard round about their table, that obtaining favor in thy sight, they may shine like the stars of heaven in thee, our God. For with thee is the glory, dominion, honor, and worship with thine unoriginate Father, and thy life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Holy God, in a strange man, out of the dust, and his fashion, his wife, out of his rib, and his joy, and her unto him, his help me. For it seemed good in thy majesty that man should not be alone upon the earth. And thou thyself, O Lord, I'll also stretch out thy hand from thy holy dwelling place, and join together thy servant Theodore. And this thy servant Anna, for by thee is the husband, joined to the wife. Unite them in one mind, wear them into one flesh, granting unto them of the fruit of the body, and the procreation of fair children. For thine is the dominion, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
thou wilt give to them blessing unto the age of the age. Thou wilt gladden them in joy with thy countenance. subordinating yourselves to one another in the fear of Christ. Wives, be subordinating to yourselves to your own husbands, as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also the Christ is head of the church, and is himself Savior of the body. But even as the church subordinated herself to the Christ, so also the wives to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, be loving your own wives, even as the Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her, in order that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her in the laver of the water with the word, that he might present her to himself, the glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such things, but that she may be holy and unblemished. So ought the husbands to love their own wives as their own bodies, he who loveth his own wife, loveth himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as also the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Because of this shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall be into one flesh. This mystery is great, but I speak in regard to Christ and in regard to the church. However, do ye, do ye severally be loving in this manner, each one his own wife as himself, and the wife in this manner, that she be fearing the husband. And to thy spirit, wisdom, in the fifth tone, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. and shall preserve us from this generation and unto the ages. Whatsoever he said to you, do it. And there were standing there six stone water pots according to the purification of the Jews, containing two or three measures each. Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the top. And Jesus said to them, draw out now and bear it to the master of the feast. And they brought it. Now when the master of the feast tasted the water that had become wine, and knew not from what place it was, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, 
The master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man first set forth a good wine, and whenever they have drunk freely, then the inferior. As for thee, thou hast kept the good wine until now. This did Jesus in Cana of Galilee as the beginning of the signs, and it made manifest his glory, and his disciples believed in him.
the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
He that was exalted of bridegroom like unto Abraham, and be thou blessed like unto Isaac, and do thou multiply like unto Jacob, walking in peace and keeping the commandments of the Lord in righteousness. And thou, O bride, be thou exalted like unto Sarah, and exalt thyself like unto Rebekah, and do thou multiply like unto Rachel. Rejoice thou in thy husband, fulfilling the conditions of the law, for so it is well pleasing unto God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, our God, who didst come to Cana of Galilee and is blessed there the marriage feast, bless also these thy servants who through thy good providence are now joined together in wedlock. Bless their comings in and their goings out, fill their life with good things, receive their crowns into thy kingdom, preserving them spotless, blameless, and without reproach unto the ages of ages. children good success in life and faith and fulfill you with all good things on the earth and vouchsafe you to obtain the blessings of the promise through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and all the saints. Chastity, for they are pure, or united in the marriage which thou hast made lawful, and that thyself bless also in the removal of these crowns, those who have been yet into each other, and preserve their union indissoluble, that they may evermore give thanks unto thy own holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages.
greet the newly wedded couple. I bless you, God help you. Oh, 